How to get rid of mothball smell in clothes, detailed guide. Are you tired of smelling like your grandma's attic? Do you dread the thought of having to wear your favorite shirt because it now reeks of mothballs? Well, fear not. In this video, we'll show you how to get rid of mothball smell in clothes so you can finally breathe easy and smell fresh once again. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, here are some methods you can use to get rid of the mothball smell from your clothes. Get rid of it! Air out clothes. This is one of the simplest and most effective methods to remove the odor from your clothes. To begin, take the clothes outdoors or hang them inside in a well-ventilated area. The fresh air will help naturally dissipate the mothball smell. You can do this for several hours or even days. The length of time required depends on the severity of the odor. If you're airing them out indoors, open up windows and doors to promote airflow. But if you're hanging the clothes outside, make sure to do so in a dry and sunny spot. Doing this will help speed up the process. Furthermore, ensure the clothes are spread out and not bunched up. This will ensure that all parts of the fabric are exposed to sunlight. Bear in mind that this method may not work for all fabrics and materials. This is especially true for clothes that are delicate or prone to damage from sunlight. In these cases, use other methods discussed in this video to get rid of the smell. Baking soda. Using baking soda is a natural and effective method. Here's how you can use it. Get a sealable plastic bag and put your clothes in it. Make sure the clothes are clean and dry before placing them in the bag. Next, pour a cup of baking soda into the plastic bag with the clothes. Then, seal the bag tightly before shaking it gently. Ensure that the baking soda comes into contact with all of the clothes. Leave the bag of clothes and baking soda for several hours, ideally for at least 6 to 8 hours or overnight. During this time, the baking soda will absorb the odor from the clothes. While you wait, shake the bag occasionally to redistribute the baking soda. After the waiting period, remove the clothes from the plastic bag. Then shake the baking soda off the clothes. If you choose, you can wash the clothes as usual. This will help remove any remaining baking soda residue. It will also ensure that the clothes are clean and fresh smelling. After washing, air dry the clothes. If you choose not to wash the clothes, you can just air them out. Follow the instructions we shared earlier on how to air out your clothes. You can use kitty litter instead of baking soda. The process is the same for both products. The slight difference is that you can add a generous amount of fresh kitty litter. The idea is to cover the clothes completely with kitty litter. Not all types of kitty litter are suitable for this method. Therefore, use only unscented, clay-based kitty litter for the best results. Furthermore, it's best to avoid using kitty litter that contains any additives, such as deodorizers or perfumes. Such products can leave a scent on the clothes. Vinegar White vinegar is a natural and effective odor eliminator, and it's easy to use. Here are two methods you can try. Note, before using white vinegar, we recommend you test it on a small inconspicuous area of your clothing first. This will help you to confirm that the vinegar won't damage the fabric. Add vinegar to the rinse cycle, method one. Load the clothes into your washing machine and add soap as usual. During the rinse cycle, add a cup of white vinegar to the machine. Let the washing machine finish the cycle as usual. After the cycle is completed, dry the clothes as usual. The vinegar smell should dissipate as the clothes dry. Soak the clothes in vinegar and water, method two. Fill a large bucket or sink with water and add a cup of white vinegar. Stir the solution to distribute the vinegar. Place the clothes in the vinegar and water solution and let them soak for several hours. You can stir the clothes occasionally to ensure that they're fully soaked. After soaking, wash the clothes in the washing machine as usual. 
Finally, dry the clothes as usual. Activated Charcoal Activated charcoal is a highly porous substance that is effective at absorbing odors. You'll need activated charcoal that is packaged in mesh bags. This will prevent the charcoal from staining your clothes. Start by ensuring the clothes are clean and dry. Once you are certain they are clean and dry, place them in the container or bag. Add a few activated charcoal bags to the container. You can use more or less depending on the size of the container or bag. The number of clothes you're trying to deodorize also determines the quantity of charcoal you need. Next, seal the container or bag tightly. This will prevent air from entering or leaving. Leave the clothes and activated charcoal for several hours, ideally overnight. During this time, the activated charcoal will absorb the odor from the clothes. After the wait, remove the clothes from the container or bag. You may have to wash the clothes to get rid of any stains that might have gotten onto the clothes. Finally, air out the clothes following the steps we shared earlier in this video. You can also use bamboo charcoal. It's another type of activated charcoal that is eco-friendly and sustainable. Alternatively, you can use coffee grounds instead of activated charcoal. The process is the same as using activated charcoal. However, you'll need to place the coffee grounds in a smaller breathable bag before putting them in the bigger container or bag. This is necessary to prevent any potential mess or spillage. It's important to use dry coffee grounds and not wet or used coffee grounds. The latter forms may stain or damage your clothes. Essential Oils Using essential oils is a natural and effective way to eliminate unwanted odors, including mothball smell, from clothes. Some essential oils can stain or damage certain types of fabric. So, it's best to do a spot test on an inconspicuous area of the clothes before applying the mixture. In addition, avoid using too much essential oil. It can be overwhelming and potentially irritate the skin. You'll need a spray bottle, water, and your choice of essential oil. Popular essential oils for eliminating odors include lavender, lemon, peppermint, and tea tree oil. Add a few drops of essential oil to the spray bottle of water. Ensure that you shake the bottle well to mix the ingredients. Spray the clothes with the essential oil and water mixture. Make sure to cover all areas of the fabric. Allow the clothes to air dry completely. You can also hang the clothes outside to sun dry if possible. Doing this can help remove any remaining odors. An alternative method is to add a few drops of essential oil to a bowl of water. Then, leave it near the clothes. The scent of the oil will diffuse into the clothes and eliminate the mothball smell. If the mothball smell is still present after the first round of treatment, you can repeat the process. When repeating the treatment, you can use more essential oil and water until the odor is gone. Fabric Softener Fabric softeners can be a helpful tool in removing the mothball smell from clothes. Here are the steps to follow. Add the recommended amount of fabric softener to the washing machine along with the clothes. Set the washing machine to the appropriate cycle for the type of clothes you're washing. Once the cycle is completed, dry the clothes as you normally would. Alternatively, you can use a fabric softener soap to remove the mothball smell from clothes. To do this, mix one part fabric softener with three parts water in the container. Place the clothes in the container. Make sure they are fully submerged in the fabric softener solution. Let the clothes soak for several hours or even overnight. After soaking, wash the clothes as you normally would in the washing machine and dry them as usual. Some people may be sensitive to fabric softeners or have allergies. So, test a small area of the clothing for any adverse reactions before soaking or washing the entire garment. Fabric softeners usually mask rather than completely remove strong mothball smells. So, if the smell is particularly strong, this method may not be the best option for you. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. 
If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.